I have no idea what I'm doing. I'll be honest with you, straight off the bat, I have been experimenting with the mycelium resistance base. Here it is, the source block, and I have been making a meeting room, which is the center of the base. The issue is, I don't really know what I'm doing with the rest of this space at all. We have our base design plan, which is source block room, done. Meeting room, done. But then we need the lab testing facility, storage room, and everything else. And there's a mysterious machine that Etho wants to make, and I didn't really understand what it is, but he told me some space that is needed. So I really need to just crack on and get this thing properly designed. But apart from this central piece with all the meeting chairs and such, I'm not really sure what I need to do. So I think actually what we're going to do is kick off this episode by making the mycelium resistance base. Which is easier said than done when you don't know what you're doing. So let's just get straight into it and make at least what we can. Check it out. The mycelium resistance base. I totally winged this design and it's come out pretty awesome in my opinion. I accidentally made it shaped like a mushroom, which is pretty on point. It ended up being about a five or six hour build, but I'm actually getting close to completion. I've created a bunch of corridors and potential rooms where stuff is going to be. Now that this room is done, I want to call a meeting of everyone. And on here, I think what I'm going to do is give everyone a title so they know what to do without too much direction. In order to keep everyone anonymous, because the Mycelium Resistance members are not known, this is the new face of the Resistance. B-dubs. And his smiley, big-eyed face. Everyone gets their own B-dubs head. You wear this on official duty, and they'll never see who it is. Nope. Minecraft doesn't have usernames above the head, just faces. So we got Etho, head of shenanigans. We got Impulse. Impulse is going to be head of diversionary tactics. XP Crafted, head of recruitment. Rendog, head of R, head of R and D. It's not research and development, it's 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 head of Ren and Dog. So that is the team. Oh, and then there's me, Brian, Mother Spore. So everyone has their job, and then I'm going to try and help out everyone as well as being like the builder. I suppose I've already done most of my job by making this room. But basically, I'm hoping that Etho will make his room, the shenanigans room. Impulse will make some diversionary stuff. Like we need a laboratory. Like everyone has their own thing to do. So I'm going to keep these for the meeting later on and let all the members know that we need to have a meeting about our plan for spreading mycelium. Look, the plan's right here. Farm mycelium, spread the spores. We built the base. Now we've got to farm mycelium. This ended up being such a large project that I've ended up spending like two days on it. So for now, we're going to leave this place and we'll be back when everyone else is ready. So what I think we should do is get ourselves back on the mystery box money-making scheme because this thing has been actually generating most of my profits. The hermits will buy stuff from the barge as and when they need. The real way to make s What? I'm- I'm invisible again! Whoa! What the heck? Green? No Green. Green? No Green. I don't like this. The real way to make stonks on this server is to sell them things... I'm invisible and I can see B-dubs in the background. The real way to make stonks on this server is to sell them stuff they don't need. That's how you make real money, and the only way to do that is by wrapping it in an enigma. So, I'm gonna come up with four different treasure hunts all on the mystery barge box, and they're going to be even more expensive. Every time I sell out, I make new barge mystery boxes, I up the price, and I make them more insane. That's probably the most suspicious behavior I've ever seen. What are they up to? 
I better, better turn around and put on my face of the resistance. Boom. <laughs> it's like looking in a handsome mirror. He's doing he's doing the wiggle dance of friendship. Wiggle. 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 Yeah, there we go. <laughs> We're the same person. Whoa! What on earth is this? How have I not seen this? The... Oh, there's X on top of it. And Corellis! Thank, thank goodness I'm wearing my disguise. It's the, it's the HEP. It's, it's the Hermit Environmental Protection Agency. It's, it's HIP! <laughs> that's, that's what they're gonna be called from now on. HIP! <laughs> what is going on? They're up to no good. That is a magnificent building. Oh my goodness. I just finished our headquarters and the HIP have gone ahead and they've made something probably equally as good, maybe even a little bit better. Actually, that kind of is better than my base. Look, the, the resistance has to be underground. It's difficult to make stuff underground. But anyway, let's focus for a sec. What is, that is sus. There is so many sus, <gasps> an imposter. There is an imp- There is an imposter among us! You saw that! I saw- I saw with my own two big eyes a member of the resistance having a casual encounter Oh yeah, I also placed some mycelium Anyway, let's focus and get ourselves these mystery barge boxes underway Also, XB did look kind of AFK but that's still kind of sus So, this time around I'm going to have all the barge boxes be over value. They will all be worth more than a hundred diamonds worth of value, which is what I'm going to sell them for. If you bought all this at the shopping district, it would cost you 46 diamonds. So there are four different treasure hunts that we're going to make, but I'm only going to show one on camera as I don't want to spoil every single one. This box alone is worth 50 diamonds. If you count all the TNT, that's most of the value in here. But then you got the woods, you got the carrots, you got two boxes of rockets and a beacon. So this will be the prize of the first treasure hunt we're doing and it's a general prize. This is not specific to any one thing. This is a general prize and it's pretty decent. The total value, 140 diamonds. That's not including the shulker boxes, so it may even be a little bit more. It's around 150 and so now we have to go and bury this. So as with the last treasure hunt, what we're going to do is rename our initial box. So this is what they'll get. And we need to rename this head to give them the first clue. Follow the gaze of the broken face. That's the broken face. Dude, it's happening again. There's straight up some collusion going on here. Tell me this doesn't look sus. I see you. So... We follow the gaze of the broken face. Now his eyes are looking down here. So if I was following it, I'd look somewhere down here. I mean, if that face isn't looking at me, then I, <laughs> I don't know. So down here is what we're gonna do. And then we leave the next clue, but I need to know where the next clue leads. So I've got this, alone in his own world, he is happy. Visit the shopping district to find the treasure mappy. Look, rhyming is not my strong suit. I always make puns and rhymes by accident. When I do it on purpose, I end up with happy and mappy. Don't judge me, okay? This stuff is hard. So of course, I mean, alone in his own world, he is happy. I'm talking about our unvisited friend, Grumbot. Oh my goodness, I forgot how happy he looks. Now we go inside here, and the next treasure map, as it says, is visit the shopping district to find the treasure mappy. Now, I don't think anyone would ever have a reason to enter here other than this clue. So the shopping district, which is still mycelium, this is how it should be, is over here. So you have to visit the shopping district where Mumbo is, where Mumbo is still there and I'm going to put the treasure map here. So basically for this, this thing is mainly a series of clues. So they'll come down here, they'll take this and they'll see your next clue. So this is only a two stage treasure hunt so far. Now I need to make a map. It's still going on. This is so sus. 
This is very, very sus. So, now I need to make an empty map, and it needs to be somewhere super recognizable if you're going to identify it from a map. So, I'm thinking one of the most identifiable builds is Mumbo's base because of its massive geometric shape. So, if I go here and I turn this into a map, we end up with this. Now, if I go down here and build an X, that's not as red as I'd like, but it's there. And I bury the next clue under here. Of course, I need to lock this map so that the X remains there. So you kind of get the idea that these things take a really long time to set up. So I really hope the hermits enjoy them. So now that this map is locked, even if I remove this, the X will stay here. And this is the map that goes in Grumbot's virtual reality. And then in here, we put the next clue. I think this will have to be the final clue for this one. I have a really good idea, but I think it might be too difficult. I'm gonna just call this Chestception. 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 That's the clue. It's not a joke, that is the clue. So, we put the treasure map here for them to find and hopefully take. And if you haven't worked it out, Chestception, there is only one big chest on the server. And that is... Good old, good times with Mare, the chest monster. So, if we go in here, we hide ourselves a chest. Bada bing, bada boom. All of the rewards go in here. Of course, there is a chance that someone will find this just because they're hunting for decked out keys. And now, you get the idea about these... What is going on? Everything is so suspicious today! Literally everyone is acting so weird! Including me! So here is the first completed one. So I've renamed this to Barge Box Treasure Hunt. I would say it's medium. It's not, it's not easy, this one, but it's not ridiculously difficult. So... There we go, the first treasure hunt is done. Now, the other ones are all gonna have to be done off camera because I just totally explained and ruined that entire one. Although the chances are this will probably be sold before I even get to upload this video, so you probably can't spoil it that much. Mystery box treasure hunts, 100 diamonds each. That's quite a lot of diamonds. Not gonna lie, that is a lot of diamonds, but it's a lot of fun and you do get a really cool reward at the end of it. Value is always over what you pay. Good luck. So now I've got three more to make off camera and we'll see how the hermits take them. This has been my biggest money-making scheme on the server so far. Free pumpkins for Halloween, one box per person. Yes, please, I am gonna use that. Ah. Where are they? Ah. There it is. Scary flying bat things. So annoying. Yep, gonna use all of these pumpkins to trade with my villagers. This is my this is my XP farm and has been for a while. So, time to make more mystery barge boxes, and the most difficult of which will get the ultimate prize of the netherite block included in their prize pool. And remember, that is worth 250 diamonds on its own. These things are ridiculous. So someone is going to make a whole lot of diamonds, but I'm not going to make it easy for them. So good luck to everyone that is going to try and win a mystery barge box treasure hunt. I probably need a better name for that because that is a mouthful. So off camera we go to put these together. Uh, as usual, that took a lot longer than I thought, and I tried to get a little bit more creative with some of them. I would say that about three of these boxes involve mainly finding books and solving a riddle and going to another place. However, a couple of them have something a little bit more interesting involved in them. But as you can see, five treasure hunts are all completed. And they are very, very expensive. 100 diamonds each, but that's the price you gotta pay for a little game like this. And we've also got a pesky bird. Now you may notice there's another pesky bird in the background. Now this is a very special box. I am reserved specifically for Scar, okay? And a little bit of a, a spoiler, it says behind the beard of your best house. So I think Scar will get that pretty quickly. 
However, his one is especially for him, and there's no payment required, because of a deal that I made with Scar. I made a deal to purchase a whole lot of shulker shells from him. And I did a part payment in diamonds, and he wanted an IOU from Grian. Which I said, absolutely not. That's the worst idea ever. If, if a hermit asks you for an IOU, you don't do it. That can come back to haunt you. So instead, he said he wanted a unique treasure hunt that I was making. So, I made one. Specifically for Scar. And it's gonna... <laughs> It's gonna be quite funny, so I look forward to seeing how that all goes down. So, we've got an awful lot done today. We have continued our money-making barge box scheme, and now, since I found a decked out box, I would like to go and do another run. I've had some pretty terrible luck in this game, but we're going to try and actually get out of here with a proper token. Okay, I've got my decked out box. I've got myself a key. I've actually got two keys. So let's go. Okay, the decked out box with all my cards goes in. I haven't got very good cards. And we are ready to go. Right, let's just go straight for the compass this time. And let's play it safe. Oh, beast sense. Nothing nearby. Oh, okay, so we need to head this direction. Oh, man. I hate this. Ooh. Ah. Okay, we're across. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. Oh, is this it? There we go, there we go, we got the loot box token. Okay, if we take the long way round, we can do a little bit of exploring. Actually, I hear a Ravager there. So I say we just go back the way we came, and we claim, we just claim the loot. Super easy, not too much exploring. <gasps> okay, this is gonna be an easy run, easy run. Dude, okay. Loot box token acquired. I know I didn't go for any of the extra hidden stuff, but I really needed a win. I really needed this win. What did we get? A B set, B set, a unique B? That's amazing. We have a B set, we have two B set commons. We have a villager set, which I don't need. Let's do one more run. We just gotta wait for the doors to close again. I totally forgot to end the game. <laughs> My bad. I totally forgot to end the game. The doors are closed. Round two. Maybe this time we can be a little bit more adventurous now that we got a win under our belt. It's time to go. This direction again. Is it here? No, okay. We gotta go across the worst thing ever again. Okay, once you know how to do this, this isn't, it's not too bad. Is it raining outside? Okay, let's be careful. Ooh, the stealth, the stealth is really helping me out here. I hear no ravages. So far, so good. Gold room, this has got to be it, right? There it is, there it is, loot box token. Well, that was super easy. Okay, we might as well make our way round and try and find ourselves a few secrets. Like that. Boom. Empty barrel. <laughs> and the soul flame thing is not open. That is a crying shame. Okay. Unfortunately. Oh, wait, you could totally just open this from here. Oh man, did he see me? Fortunately, I don't think the Ravager saw me. Okay, so I know a few secret rooms, but not a, not a huge amount of them. And I very rarely find soul flames. Oh, 
Oh, that was a ravager. Oh my goodness. That is the spookiest thing. Oh, he saw me. He saw me. Okay, I think it's time to leave. Again, it was a little bit easier to get this token. And I didn't find any, any extra coins. But honestly, sometimes after a few losses, I think it's time we just take, take the wins on this. I need some artifacts under my belt. Okay, not the most exciting decked out runs in the world. But we got our reward. One of these, loot 38. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow. We got a lot of decked out coins this time. But unfortunately, we got nothing rare or unique. Ocean set, end set, villager set. Actually, I've got to repeat. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a lot I can do with these. None of these are useful. Well, it wasn't a complete bust. We got some coins. We got out of there alive. But we didn't have the guts to go deep into the dungeon looking for prizes. Every time I've done that, it's ended extremely badly. But oh my goodness. I saw this earlier and I didn't know what to say. Rip throne. The, the diamond throne has gone. And it's actually partly because of me. Remember when I made the Hermit Challenges for Iskau Mumbo? Well, they went and replaced the Diamond Throne with Mycelium. And obviously, Scar's gotten rid of the Mycelium Throne. And everyone's <laughs> putting in their condolences. So I think we'll do the same. <laughs> put, put in that. <laughs> Lay down some flowers for the throne. I'm sure it will be back. I'm sure, like, Mumbo wouldn't have actually taken it. He's probably just hidden it away somewhere, so it should be back in no time at all, but that's quite funny. You tasted so good. So that is all for today's episode. I really do hope you enjoyed the episode. We did a lot today. What is going on here? That is very strange. And we have done an awful lot today, making the Mycelium Headquarters, which took up most of my day, making the treasure hunt boxes, which is very exciting for the hermits that want to pay me lots of diamonds. And of course we got some decked out runs today. Overall, I'd say it's been a pretty productive episode. We got a lot done and I'm very excited to see where this mycelium turf war keeps on going. So that is all. I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget, subscribe maybe because, you know, last time I asked you guys to subscribe, I got like 10,000 subscribers in a day, which is kind of cool. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. And I want to thank you all again for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.